guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a get ready with me. Um, I'm going out for dinner and drinks and I thought I would just film um, my makeup look. I have an idea of what I want to do. Um, I kind of want to do like a purple blended to orange smoky eye. I know that sounds weird but hopefully it all comes together. Um, so I'm just going to start with my face and I'll use my Laura Geller hydrating primer. I'm going to use my Dior Forever Perfect Makeup um, Foundation in the shade 25 because I'm a little bit lighter um, now summer's ending, which I'm very happy about. I can't wait for this heat to be done. And I'm going to mix a tiny bit of my NARS um, Radiant Foundation. I'm going to use um, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in Light. I've never used this before, I just picked it up um, just to give it a go. So you just kind of twist it, it's got this like weird foamy thing but I think you can take it off. But I'll give it a go. Starting to get some product. Alright, let's give this a go. Very weird applicator. I have no idea what kind of coverage, coverage this is meant to be. Looks like a medium. That blended like really nicely. Looks really flawless under the eyes. I'm just gonna have a closer look. Yeah, that looks really pretty and it feels like hydrating. It's not heavy under my eye. Really like that. Very impressed so far. Uh, so I'm just gonna move on to my contour. I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury um, contour wand. This is like the best liquid contour like for fairer people just the undertone so good and this in with my sponge and I like to blend my contour up not down and back towards the hair just gives a really nice shape to the face and this blends so easily as well Damn, I just can't stop looking at these under eyes. They're so good, so flawless. Concealer hasn't really started to crease yet. I'm just gonna blend it out one more time and then set my under eyes. And I'll use my Charlotte Tilbury powder in medium. I just can't get over like how nice my under eyes look. I've not looked this good in ages. I hope I'm not allergic to this concealer though. It will be mighty annoying if I am. But I've been fine with the Colourpop one. That's been good, but it just creases quite a lot the longer you wear it. And it's a bit drying, I find, under my eyes. So if this concealer works, it's great. And I bought mine from Woolworths actually, which is like our supermarket because they had 30% off Maybelline. And I kind of went a bit ham on Maybelline and I bought this concealer and I bought um, the Big Shot Colossal Mascara. I bought um, just setting my face with the shade Dark and I bought the master chrome highlighter and the at home like brow gel uh, brow dye like the peel off brow gel dye that they do and i did that yesterday to my brows and i love it 
works really well. And I'm gonna follow along and use the Charlotte Tilbury Holly Film Star Holly no what is this Film Star Bronze and Glow the bronze shade and just lightly go over that cream bronzer. By the way, I'm wearing my clip-in pony tonight and I curled it for some added volume and I love this pony, it's so nice. It's really comfortable as well. I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in Molten Gold. I've not used this on my face before but I've swatched it. Bloody intense. pretty touch gold for me so I'm gonna add the Amrezy highlighter which is a bit more of a, like a pale champagne -y. and just lighten this up that's intense now Whoa. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the Milani Luminoso blush because um, I think for my eye look I'm gonna do something quite orangey um, so I want my blush to tie in a little bit. I'm just going to do the eyes now. I'm going to use my Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette for the eyes. And I'm going to take the shade um, Eden. Where are you? This light peachy shade. Um, I'm now going to take Blazing, the hot orange. All a fluffy brush and pack that in the crease and upper transition. So what has everyone been doing with their life? Anything exciting happening? I've just been working and not doing much else. My mum has had a shoulder replacement. So I've been visiting her a fair amount. Um, doing a bit of wedding planning. So we came to a decision on the venue, um, which I'm so happy about. I love what we've picked. We're just waiting now for a contract from them. And then we can send out our save the dates. So yeah, our venue is in um, Tuscany. It's um, about 50 minutes from Florence and all our guests choose to will be staying on site with us and it's such a beautiful venue it's like a little village and we have the whole village for three days it's gonna take amber on the same brush and just focus that on the outer corner To the large brush again. I'm just going to carve out the lid um, for like the cut crease effect. I'll just use the same concealer. I think this might be a bit tricky though. And I'm going to look straight up. And that's where I need to carve out the lid. Sorry, I didn't realize that my camera had stopped filming, um, but basically I just went over the con uh, concealer with um, the shade Twilight, but I actually hate it. <laughs> I don't like the way that this eye look looks, so I'm going to um, take it off and start again. Just using my um, face halo. You know, this happens. I had never done this kind of a look before. So, that's okay. So I'm dipping into Eden. Just doing the same processes that I did before. And back in with blazing. 
I'm just taking this on the lower lash line as well. And I'm taking amber. I think I'm going to use this pressed glitter in Cosmo on my lid. I'm just going to use my finger and pat it on. Whoa, that is stunning. I'm just going to intensify the outer corner a little bit. I'm going to mix saffron and oud together. I'm just going to line my lash line. And I'll just use my Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara in Baddest Black. Right, I'm just going to go apply my lashes and I'll be back. So that's the eyes completed. I just added the Maybelline highlight to the inner corner and brow bone and just some brown eyeliner in my waterline. Uh, I'm just going to spray my face with my Urban Decay setting spray. And then I'm going to use my Pixie Glow Mist. Because my eyes are very dramatic and bold and warm, I'm just going to do a nude kind of glossy lip. So I'm going to line my lips with the NYX Natural Lip Pencil. And then I'm going to use the Colourpop Ultra Glossy Lip in Moonchild. And that completes this look. Um, I really like the way that this eye look turned out and the skin and everything like that. I think it looks so snatched. Really pretty. Even though we had a bit of a train wreck with the eyes, um, I actually really like this eye look. I think the glitter is so stunning and I love a good warm smoky eye. So um, I'm happy I was able to do that with this palette. Um, but yeah, that's it for this Get Ready With Me. Um, I hope you guys have a great day or night. Um, enjoy your weekend um, and I'll see you in my next one.